All right, so today we're with our patient, Julia. She's gonna be completing the SCAT-5 test for us. And we're gonna start off with the symptom evaluation portion of it. So Julia, I'm gonna ask you to read over the instruction and then complete the actual assessment itself. Okay. So as, as I said before, just read over the introductory paragraph. The athlete should be given the symptom form and asked to read the instruction, paragraph out loud, and then complete the symptom scale. For the baseline assessment, the athlete should rate his or her symptoms based on how he or she f typically feels. And for the post-injury assessment, the athlete should rate their symptoms at this point in time. Just tell us why you only feel 95% on the paper. So we just uh, completed the symptom evaluation with our patient here. She ended up scoring 10 out of 22 total symptoms and 11 out of 132 in terms of symptom severity score. So next we're gonna move on to the cognitive screening portion. So I'm gonna ask you five questions and you're just gonna tell me the answers to them, pretty much. All right, the first question is, what month is it? October. October 5th. What is the date today? It's 11th. What is the day of the week? It's Tuesday. What year is it? 2022. And what time is it right now within one hour? It's around 10 o'clock. Sounds good. So next, I'm going to do the immediate memory test on you. So I'm going to test your memory. I will read you a list of words, and when I'm done, repeat back as many words as you can remember in any order. For the second and third trials, I'm going to repeat the same list again, and you are also going to repeat back as many words as you can remember in any order, even if you said the words before. So are you prepared for the test? Yeah. All right, ready? So remember, I'm going to read the words first, and you just repeat them back to me, and we'll do that three times. Yeah. Okay. So finger, penny, blanket, lemon, insect, candle, paper, sugar, sandwich, wagon. Sandwich, wagon, paper, finger, penny, wagon. That's okay. So you remember four of the words. So remember, you want to try to do it in order. So we're going to do it a second time now. Finger, penny, blanket, lemon, insect, candle, paper, sugar, sandwich, wagon. Finger, penny, blanket. Paper, sandwich, candle. Oh. That's all you have for now? Okay. So I'm going to read it one final time. And once again, do your best to repeat the 10 words back to me in order that I say them. Finger, penny, blanket, lemon, insect, candle, paper, sugar, sandwich, wagon. Finger, penny, blanket, paper. Thank you. So next, I'm going to do a concentration test on you. This is where you're going to repeat 
a string of digits back to myself. So as I said before, I'm going to read a string of numbers and when I'm done, you repeat them back to me in reverse order of how I read them to you. For example, if I say 719, you would say 917. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, are you ready? Okay, the first one is 493. 394. The next is 629. 96. The next is 3814. One five two eight six six eight two five one seven one eight four six two repeat that one seven one eight four six two two six I'm not sure eight four something Five three nine one four eight eight four one nine something five. So now that you completed the digits backwards, I'm gonna ask you to name the months in reverse order. So tell me the months of the year in reverse order. You will start with the last month and go backwards. You'll start with December, move to November, and continue on. You may begin. December, November, October, September. August, July, June, May, April, March, February, January. So for step four of the SCAT, I'm going to perform a neurological screen on you. So before you did demonstrate that you could read aloud and follow instructions. And now I'm going to test your cervical spine movement and whether or not you feel pain during the movement. So is it okay if I touch you and complete that? Yes. So as I move your neck, just tell me whether or not you feel pain just by saying simply yes or no. So no, you don't have pain and yes, you do have pain. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we're gonna forward. Any pain? No. Backward. Anything? No. We're gonna go sideways. Oh no, we're gonna turn look to the left. Any pain? No. We're gonna look to the right. Any pain? No. So now we're gonna touch your ear to the shoulder. Do you feel any pain? No. And finally this way. Do you feel any pain? No. Perfect, thank you. So next, we are going to perform the, um, we're gonna ask you if you can look side to side and up and down without double vision, all right? So you could follow my finger if you like, we're just gonna do it side. Just uh, don't move your head, just okay. move your eyes, all right? Okay. So remember, don't move your head or neck, just move your eyes, so let's see how far they go without seeing double vision, ready? Perfect. Now, during that, did you feel any double vision? No. Perfect, thank you. So next, we're going to perform the finger-to-nose test to test your coordination. So I'm going to test your coordination now. I just want you to sit comfortably on the chair with your eyes open and your arm, either your right or left, outstretched with your shoulder flexed 90 degrees and then elbow and fingers extended. So it's going to look something like this, exactly, uh, pointing in front of you. And when I give you a start signal, I would like you to perform five successive fingers to nose repetitions using your index finger to touch the tip of the nose and then return to the starting position as quickly and as accurately as possible. Every time it is not accurate, I will deduct points from the test. 
So if you need an example how it looks, it's just pretty much like this. You want to do that as quickly and fast as you can. So you may, be, you may begin. Go ahead. Perfect. So next we're going to have you perform the tandem gait test. You're going to start off with your feet together. And from this doorway to that doorway, you're going to walk. From a heel to toe perspective, trying to keep your balance, heel to toe. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do that from that doorway all the way here, heel to toe. You're going to turn around and you're going to do the same walk all the way back. Are you prepared? So just start right at this line. Remember, when you're walking across, you're going to want to do heel to toe. And you may begin. Now turn around and complete the same. Yeah. So I'm now going to test your balance. Uh, roll of your pant legs above your ankles, if you can do that. And remove any ankle taping, which I don't think you have. So we're going to complete three tests that are 20 seconds each. And you're going to be performing three different stances, okay? So the first test is the double leg stance. You're going to, the first stance is standing with your feet together, with your hands on your hips and your eyes closed. You want to try and maintain stability in the position for 20 seconds. I'll be counting the number of times you move out of this position and I'll start timing when you're set and I've closed your eyes. So it's basically it. You're going to put your feet together like this and close your eyes. Ready? Be good. Perfect. That's going to elapse 20 seconds. Next one is a single leg stance. So first, uh, first off, if you were to kick a ball, which foot would you use? Third one. So that's going to be your dominant foot. So you're going to stand on your non-dominant foot, which would be your left. And the dominant leg should be held in approximately 30 degrees of hip flexion and 45 degrees of knee flexion. So something like this. Um, you should try to maintain stability for 20 seconds with your hands on your hips once again, your eyes closed once again. I'll be counting the number of times you move out of this position, and if you stumble out of this position, open your eyes and return to the start position and continue balancing. I will start timing when you are set and have closed your eyes. You prepared? Yes. So I go? Yes. And, yep, perfect. Keep the knee 45 degrees, hip flexion 30 degrees, hands on hips, close your eyes. Are you ready to begin? All right, three, two, one. That's fine. That is the 20 seconds. So the final test will be a uh, stand heel to toe. It's called it's called a tandem stance. You're gonna stand heel to toe with your non-dominant foot in the back. So your left in the back, your right in the front. Uh, your weight should be evenly distributed across both feet, and you should try to maintain stability for 20 seconds with your hands on your hips and your eyes closed. I'll count the number of times you move out of this position. If you stumble out of this position. Um, open your eyes and return to the start position and continue balancing. I will start timing when you are set and I close your eyes. 
So you ready? Remember, you're going to put your non-dominant foot at the back and your dominant foot in the front. Once again, hands and hips. Close your eyes. Okay. Distribute the weight properly and then you may begin. That is perfect. So you have now completed the balance test. So, do you remember that list of words I wrote a few times earlier? Can you tell me as many words from the list as you can remember in any order? Okay. Ready? And you can begin. Blanket, penny, paper, lemon, insect, candle, Sandwich. Five more. 